Late Sunday night, the Bee Devils arrived home to a snow-covered Binghamton after a winning Cleveland. But instead of coming across snow-covered cars, they instead found this note, proving that one small act of kindness can make all the difference. Jacob Seuss has the story. A typical February night in Binghamton. Isolated snow shower activity continues. When the snow began to fall, the Bee Devils, still in Cleveland after Sunday's win, didn't know what they were coming home to. By the way, our cars are parked over in the Binghamton Rumble Ponies parking lot. If anyone wants to head over there and start digging them out after the snowstorm. Late Sunday night, finally back in Binghamton, but instead of piles of snow there to shovel, they found a note. After the game, we went over and decided to help them out. The note signed, Landon Vest, and it took the help of the Binghamton community. Are you the guy that cleaned our cars? To find this mystery snow shoveler. After the game, um, I was excited and I wanted to go to the Wumble Pony Stadium, which was where it all happened. I was a little surprised because it seemed more like a joke, but he, he's really a helpful guy. No job too small. But for an eight-year-old, the hardest part of shoveling the cars of professional hockey players... The back of a truck. How did he clear off the roof? A deed that certainly didn't go unnoticed. He did it out of the kindness of his heart. Um, and, and trust me when I tell you, it was appreciated. Dennehy returned the favor, Whoa. giving Landon a front row seat at practice. You are awesome. Thanks for getting our cars out there. Thanks for cleaning those, eh? Thanks for doing that for us. And another perk of the deed getting to meet his favorite player. Jill San. Did you clean our cars? Yeah. Yeah. So that's, that's what sports can do a great job of, is, um, is highlighting some of the good things that go on in our society. Eight-year-old Landon showing us how far a small act of kindness can really go. In Binghamton, Jacob Seuss, 12 Sports. And let me tell you, Landon had the biggest smile on his face yesterday when we were there with him. Oh. And it was just, I mean, I teared up many times watching this story <laughs> because it was just so heartwarming. He's got to be one of the biggest fans. And he's so lucky that uh, Denny, he pulled him over and he got to experience mm -hmm. practice Eight up close. Eight years old. Wow. Eight years old. So That's cute. amazing. Great story, Nicole. Thanks. We'll be right back.